Some days ago, my parents called me, and during our conversation, they chipped in that they needed some cash for feeding for the month. A few weeks before, I had sent some money to them for their upkeep. Well, I took some time to reflect and then realized that, wow, suddenly now, I have to take care of my parents. Yet, it wasn't so long ago when I used to live with them, and they would take care of me. As young people, it is so easy to think the time is slow, but time does fly. One minute, you're young, and the next minute, you're getting married and starting a family. Life comes upon you so suddenly, and so delaying on changing could set you back faster than you think, when really, this doesn't have to be. Whether you like it or not, as you grow older, you will make a lot of changes. Those changes will either be forced upon you by life, or you would make them before they are even forced at all. Whichever way, one of the highlights of getting older is that you start to drop some old habits. Suddenly, some things that used to matter when you were younger stops mattering again, because life has shoved inevitable responsibilities into your lap. In today's video, I will be sharing with you 5 habits you should change in your 30s. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Start loving yourself more Your life's success is based so much on how much you love yourself, because your self-esteem will either be improved or decreased based on how much you love yourself. I know it is sometimes a difficult thing for young people to love themselves, hence why they tend to hang around wrong friends to feel cool. Since your life's success in all its entirety is based on your self-esteem, love yourself, that means start to appreciate yourself, understand how smart you are and why you're different. You may not have the same talent as others, but you sure have what others do not have. The basis of loving yourself is finding out who you are, what your strengths are, and what your weaknesses are then you would know what you're capable of doing and will be content to put yourself in your place all the time. Love yourself. This is the beginning of achieving a life of success. 2. Start building your dream private life Your 30s are a great time to start to build your dream private life. Whatever you desire to be in the future. Have a home. Start a family. Achieve a career. Have kids. You should start to work on them during your 30s. Some goals you ought to have started in your 20s can still be started in your 30s. Your personal life will play a major role in your life success and satisfaction. So, get started on the goals you have set for yourself right now. Lay out plans on what you can do each year now that you're in your 30s and start to deliberately work on them. There is so much you can and should do in your 30s, which you may not be able to do in your 40s. 3. Start pursuing work that you actually love. If you don't love it, don't do it. If you're not passionate about it, don't do it. That's a personal mantra I'm maintaining for embarking on new endeavors in my life. Why is this important? Because you only find constant happiness, fun, and satisfaction when you pursue work you actually love. Many people wake up each morning to resume a job they hate and live frustrated lives even though they seem to be earning big. Love what you do, and if you miss that kind of work in your 20s, do all you can now that you're in your 30s to find such work. It is in your 30s that you can build the solid base of happiness, fun, and satisfaction for yourself. People usually experience midlife crisis because they do not find themselves doing what they love, and all these years, they have been doing what did make them happy. Don't wait till the time you're older to find out you made a mistake. 4. Stop comparing yourself to others. Nobody is better than you, and you're not better than others. Stop making that mistake that someone is better than you. Neither Bill Gates nor Mark Zuckerberg is better than you. We all have different games to play in life, and we aren't all suited to do the same thing. I learned this a long time ago and have used it to appreciate my gifts and talents more. Appreciate your own talents, gifts, and strengths more. You are right where you are supposed to be, in the country, society, and environment you need to be to achieve the kind of success your life was made for. There may be external changes you need to make to succeed, but the most important thing is to believe in yourself, to never be unwise to think that someone who knows mathematics is more brilliant than you. The same person may dislike English lessons and poetry, whereas you love poetry and art. You both aren't less special. So don't compare yourself with others. Social media will make you do this. Your so-called rich friends who post their pictures on social media probably have never seen the insides of a luxurious building. So don't kill yourself over that. Find your place and stay there. 5. Start being content with what you already have. Learn to be content with what you have rather than being bitter and envious of others. Be patient and continue to work patiently and diligently until your own success comes. Personally, I hate reunions for the reason that you start to compare yourself with others, wondering why someone else was enjoying more success than you when you thought you would be the other. So, hang around people who encourage you to be content with what you have while you're pursuing your goals and dreams. Don't neglect to appreciate what you have. 
Khalil Gibran says, Your living is determined not so much by what life brings to you as by the attitude you bring to life. Not so much by what happens to you as by the way your mind looks at what happens. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.